Well, sir, I have never seen anything like what you did back there. A resourceful man like yourself could easily help the people. My goal is to take Washington down. The rest is none of my concern. We'll never defeat Washington without the people of New York behind us. And what do they want? Well, they're starving. We will win their support if we feed them. However, all the food is controlled by John Fitzwilliams. He is the most corrupt official in a city filled with corruption. Bring him to me, and I will track him to his stores of food. Williams. You won't find a worse bloodsucker this side of the Atlantic. He sells the food at inflated prices and skims the extra for himself. I do not care about him. We only care about getting people something to eat. Eventually, he'll lead me to his hoard. You. Yes, you. I, I wasn't doing nothing. Thomas Jefferson needs someone to get this cart of food to hungry people. To sell it? Give it. Free food for hungry folks? You're a man, friend. Get some friends. We will take as many cartloads as we can.
Can't go through there! Blow up those cakes! I'm sure I was gonna make it out alive, but goddamn, it's the most fun I've had all week. Thomas Jefferson, people! This here food is thanks to Mr. Thomas Jefferson! Thomas Jefferson! Just a few carrots, and he has won their loyalty. What was that? My friend Paul Revere disappeared three days ago. This soldier just confirmed the disappearance of his wife and son as well. I am sorry. Revere was an able and valuable man. He was endeavoring to loosen the blue coat grip on the city. Neighborhood by neighborhood, he was winning the people's trust and support. I will take up Revere's work to help rally the city. If the citizens fight for us, we will replace Washington with a new leader. This country must be led by the people. Get through it. Ah! 